Ladies and gents, welcome to what has all the makings of what could be a very, very epic, interesting game, okay? Uh, we're going to dive right into it here. We're going to introduce the players. Of course, it is regicide, and so the kings that are out and about need to be protected at all costs. Uh, in the orange, we have Majror, uh, probably butchering that, but playing as the Malay. In the yellow, we have experienced community game player, been around the community a bit, Elbanovic, playing as the Khmer. In the purple, we have Papa Silk, who I think played recently, has some recent experience playing as the Teutons. In the gray, we have T-Money McGed Buns playing as the Bulgarians. In the red, we have Dr. Manfred, who's also played a fair amount, I think, as of many, except for maybe one player in this game, playing as the Chinese. And he immediately has reached out to a certain player that I shall introduce here in a moment. But before we get to that, we should introduce Varyan, who's playing as the Hindustanis, maybe one of the highest ranked players in this game. We go over to Blue. We've got Qso, who's playing as the Slavs. And then in the teal, we have Tom Tom the Wizard. Not Tom Tom the Unlicensed Wizard or the Reese Licensed Wizard, which you may have seen in previous games. He is now Tom Tom the Wizard of Forced Friends. And you might be wondering why. Why is Tom Tom the Wizard of Forced Friends? Why is that the name? Because this is a player who have cast, yes, right, cast spells on people uh, to get them to do things, all right? Well, last week when they played, Tom Tom and Varian were in the same game. And I was spinning this whole story, getting all excited. And then Varian just bullied him and killed him immediately, okay? You can't cast spells because you don't have the time. And the king for Tom Tom dies. Varyon with the ruthless, ruthless display to kill the wizard. And actually, this could be really bad for Blue because this king could run right into Blue's base. This is going to kill Blue as well. Blue locked the gate. That's actually so sick. Blue locked the gate. He may still die. This explosion will affect him, guys. I think he needs to run. Yeah, there he goes. He's running. Uh, uh, uh. He's, he's abandoning. He's leaving. Why is the king going that way? Why is the king going that way? Why is the king going that way? Go the other way. Oh my goodness. Run. Run, you stupid king. Where are you going? No! Blue is also dead. And Varian was about to go kill him next. And he's like, oh. Okay, well, he's dead. TomTom yeah. Tom told me he's gonna somehow... He's gonna warm Varian's very cold heart and make a friend out of him here. And so that seems to be the, the plan. And he says, I have a plan to make Varyon friends. Can you ping his location? So he's already at it. Um, so we'll, we'll see exactly how that goes. Wait, does that mean he's gonna send... Is he gonna send his king into Varyon's base? That's the play. Guys, if you want Varyon to not kill you, you need to get your king directly into Varyon's base. That's what it is. 100%. 100%. 100%. That is the best way to force someone to be friends with you in Exploding Kings, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. That's a risky move with Varyon, man. He, uh, that's my prediction right now. So, yeah. It's an interesting story, right? It's a very interesting story. Um, and right off the bat, like, I... I I've rigged both of these two in together to see it play out this yes. way. And clearly, Dr. Manfred is a big fan of the wizard. And, uh, you know, again, did say that he is going to be friends. Uh, I think our, this is Orange's first community game. And unfortunately for Orange, Orange might not be too familiar with the Diplo windows. Hasn't allied anyone yet, which is always uh, rule number one of community games. So could be an issue here for Orange if others look and say, hmm, this person's not friendly. But uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. And the king is now moving for Tom Tom out into the darkness. And he he's asking, did Varyon ally anyone? Now, what I need to say... So Tom Tom said in my chat, he says, I will make Varyon be friends with me. Then Varyon was the host of the lobby. And he's telling him to chill right now. Um, and Varyon's title of the lobby was... Um, Oh, shoot, I forget. Chad, help me out. It was like wizard obedience training. Yes, that's what it was. Wizard obedience training. And then the password was I cast 
death on Tom Tom or something. And well, Tom Tom has just <laughs> Tom Tom has just entered his face, and he says, <laughs> "I cast forced friends on Varian." <laughs> And he sits right under Varian's TC. So last time, you know, the wizard stayed in his base and he built up and did all this stuff. And then Varian went and killed him. Now he's just sitting that king right underneath Varian's TC. And so if Varian were to want to kill him, this would explode his entire base and kill him as well. <laughs> and then he says, let us trust each other. Smiley face. We'll see where this goes. Listen, Varian's trying to play it cool, but even him has, even he is to respect this. He says, I'm flattered. Tom Tom says, this is a trust exercise. We both win together nice and easy. That king is going to stay there. All right. Well, that's the start. That's the start. And he says, if you bully a low elo player, I boom. If you are rude, I cast fireball. Wow. Tom Tom really going at it here. So, you know, this could, this could really affect how Varian has to play the game. He was not casting spells anymore. He's really sending some messages. And, um, yeah, it looks like things are going to be interesting here. Uh, Varian's one of the favorites in this game. Elbanovic has been around a very long time. Has played in games before. I think that he, considering he doesn't have a king in his base, uh, is, is, is an even bigger favorite. Tom Tom has let everyone know Varian now has a king in his base. He will behave or else. And Blue reaches out to Tom and says, hey, you want to be pals? Very interesting to see what Varian does here. Actually, Tom Tom is screwed up, guys. Tom Tom has screwed up. And Tom Tom is trying to bully him around. He's trying to bully him around. He says, Varian, you will stay on a single TC or I will also boom. And Varian says, nah, boom me. He's like, go ahead, do it. And Tom Tom says, one warning. See, Varian's doing the right thing. He's like, I don't care. Go ahead, you won't. You won't do it. Because I think Tom Tom's a man of the people. And I think people would be a little disappointed if he were to do it right now. Elbanovic says, I'm kind of a gamer for hire, goes over to Tom Tom, who, you know, might want to take a deal. But Elbanovic says, if you have your own masterpiece planned, I'll stay out of it. Hmm. Are we really going to see? <laughs> Varian. Varian's approach to this has been hilarious. He says, I've died lots of times. I don't care. See, that's the best way. If someone's trying to get you know you all riled up, if you just act like you don't care... It really bothers them. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Actually, the king has left. Tom Tom has left. And maybe he will choose to change his plan. When Papa Silk reaches out to Gray, says, I love saying your name out loud. I love to say T-Money, McGetBuns as well. It's my favorite username. Um... Tom Tom has now declared neutrality to Varian, and I think I think Varian just called his bluff, right? Varian just called his bluff. He's like, "Go ahead, do it." And I don't think Tom Tom really knew what to do. I think Tom Tom wants this game to go on for a long time. He wants to tell his story, and his bluff was just called. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you. So when that king was in the TC, right? Varian could set the rally point anywhere. And eject it. Yes. You never, you don't want to garrison in that situation because that gives Varian some type of control on where the king goes. When some people are saying he should have committed to it and exploded. Nah, dude, that's kind of, it is kind of lame, honestly. I like what the approach of trying to bully him around, but I also like what Varian did. I think it'd be kind of lame just to boom yourself and then boom Varian. Like, the story is these two. So now the story goes on. And the eco goes on for both of them. Uh, Eco never really the strongest point for Tom Tom compared to the others. He's at 34 Eco. Dr. Manford's at 29. We've also got, um, I'm misclicking a little bit here. We've also got, um, uh, somebody else. Yes. Uh, Papa Silk at 40. 
My drawer at 34. So it seems like the big, the real big hitters here are Team Money, McGet Buns, Elbanovic, and Cuso. Varian catching up. And Varian speaking more than I've ever seen him speak in a game before. It says, Did I call your bluff, Tom? And Tom Sum says, Do you see my king, Varian? And Varian says, Look, I'm not the biggest threat here. And Tom Tom is slinging. He just sent resources. And a painful amount of tax to Elbanovic. He says, I will sling and got a bomb ready to go for Varian. Oh, Tom Tom, bro, you're saying this to everybody. He says, You will be my champion, Elbanovic. I will sling and I got a bomb ready to go to Varian. You said it to everybody. And Varian says, Who's the real bully here? Guys! This is like the third season of the show where the person you thought was the, the good guy is turning into the bad guy. Tom Tom kind of being an evil wizard here. I'm actually starting to feel for Varian, which I never felt I was going to be the case. A little bit of a switcheroo here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Elbanovic happy to uh, receive those resources. And uh, Tom Tom had his bluff called. Puts his king into a transport ship here. And he just says, I want Varian dead. The rest is up to you. Can you imagine being orange? First community game, lots of stress. And you're just seeing this guy named after a wizard screaming about killing somebody. <laughs> orange hasn't said a word. First community game ever. You've got Tom Tom. I want Varian dead. 18 minutes in. Like that would really have you sweating a little bit. Oh, man. And now, hold on. Tom Tom's going at it. He's saying this to everyone. I got a bounty on Varian's head. He must mend his ways. Yo! And look at Blue. Blue's like, hey, Green. You want to be allies? And Varian says, yes. Varian says, I'm being blackmailed and I don't like it. Okay, so, so my take on how this has played out so far. Tom Tom's come off strong. He's come off real strong. Obviously, he, he he's upset. He was killed very quickly by Varian in the previous game. There was history that we must not forget. But he's clearly seeking some type of revenge and he's willing to send resources for it. And Varian says, Tom Tom, the ineffective wizard. He left after I called his bluff. And I have to say, Blue's score looking pretty good. Varian's position looking pretty strong. These two being friends and also being next to the wizard. Very interesting. Remember, Orange has no friends, which is kind of funny because Orange was Orange was was just spoken to as if he was an ally. He has not allied anybody. And Blue is now saying, uh, Orange, you haven't allied. And Tom Tom points out that he's new, which is obviously the case. We'll see if Orange speaks up. First community game ever. Now, guys, if a king dies in uh, a transport, it does not explode. And Tom Tom asking people to keep an eye on Varian, who is the warlock. This is kind of an interesting detail. So I think purple and red seem to want to support Tom Tom. Tom Tom has definitely been a popular character recently. T Money McGet Buns is allied with red as well, but they might not want to get in the middle of any of this action. Yellow is in insane position, has Halbs and Siege Ramps and Onagers. And Blue is asking who the Warlock is after Tom Tom said that. And I'm sure he probably already knew. But, I mean, Varian's just about to get smashed. Varian is is just the, t he's just the target. Last time, he killed three people right away. No mercy. It's funny, though. Like, I think if, if this particular game was happening immediately after the game last week, I would feel less sympathy for Varian. But now since a week has passed, I'm just kind of like, well, you know, he's kind of getting ganged up on here, you know? Has played a lot, has been known to not really have a ton of mercy, has been fairly ruthless in the past. But, <laughs> this is Macy, my chances don't feel sympathy for Varian. I, I do feel like, you know, he's kind of handled this situation well. He said, go ahead and boom me. And he called the, the wizard's bluff. Yellow's in a huge position of power. Yellow is maybe the player everyone needs to worry about. 
And purple's saying, yellow, who are we going for first? <laughs> wow, wizard is so fast, dude. Look at this. 2311, orange says, hey guys, I don't, I didn't talk to anyone so far. I'm friendly to all. 12 seconds later, that's game seconds. So that's like five seconds. TomTom Tom says, no, you are not friendly to Varian. And Blue actually sends resources. Ooh, Blue actually sends an equal amount of food to four people. And TomTom Tom immediately switches the chat settings. Again, very fast with the chat settings, not so fast with everything else. And says, most wondrous. Hmm. Anyways, it's going down. Um, we've got elite golems. We've got cav archers. All trying to defend from this. It's mainly rams for yellow. And actually, the halves won't play a massive role. And blue, I think, is here to defend Varian as well. Also, obviously, an amazing position right now for yellow. Um, you know, in terms of the score and whatnot. But it's going to be two versus one on yellow. And Varian's alliance with blue. Blue's decision to team up with Varian, who... I mean, we, we prefaced this whole game with the fact that he was a bully previously. Very interesting plot twist, and I'm kind of here for it. I'm liking it. The two-handed swordsmen, soon to be champions, the golems, everything's working out. And Tom Tom saying, get him, guys. But it does not look like Varian is going to crumble anytime soon. Hmm. Now, again, this is a lot of action. Tom Tom is casting spells. He's not casting games. Or, well, you know, he, there's no actual fight. Um... And then red, and then gray, and everybody else don't really seem to want any of this smoke right now. Same with orange, of course. Now, still no champion upgrade. Halb would be really nice uh, as well for the slabs against this many elephants. But Varian's got the trebs. And they should they should be able to maybe push yellow off this hill. Those Khmer elephants are insanely strong, though. Yellow... Oh, yellow is allied to blue. Oh, he didn't realize. He didn't actually turn on blue. He screwed up. Oh, that's true. That's a pretty big deal then. So, does Tom, does Tom Tom realize... Because he's allied with blue, right? Does he realize at the moment that blue is defending Varian? Because this whole situation would be such an issue for Tom Tom. Blue's just making trade cogs. I am seeing Tom Tong make some navy. That's probably to protect his king on the water. And Varian's going to reach out to Tom. Oh, this is going to go well. Let's see how long it takes Tom to think of a response. Varian says, hey, Tom, do you repent of your aggression? Tom is not in a position of power with that king in the transport ship. And Tom Tom says, you started it, which is fair. This is true. Purple's here with Paladins, by the way. Varian says, did I today? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> he didn't today. <laughs> Except the lobby title was Wizard Obedience School. And the password was, I cast death on Tom. So, <laughs> I mean, he didn't bully a lot in the game. But, you know, at the start... It was, you know, may maybe he was kind of to blame. Purple, uh, very pro Tom here, and he turns. And now, you, suddenly you've got uh, Tootin Paladins and Khmer Elephants. Blue and green are going to struggle. And Tom says, no one is cool with the bully. Repent. And now Yellow realizes he hadn't turned on blue. And I don't know if blue can help Varian now. Purple says, it's not that I don't like you. Yellow is scary, 1850, and on my dick. Okay. So purple, he maybe kind of feels bad. And he just is more scared of yellow than he is of Varian. Varian says, okay, do you think this will go better when you're alone with him? Which he's saying to Tom Tom instead of, instead of purple. Which, uh, it makes sense because he's kind of getting destroyed right now. He's, he's screwed that up. This is interesting. I, how are you with Varian? Please stop attack on yellow. So, blue is, is going in for yellow's base, actually. I didn't realize this. So, he's going in for yellow's base as Varian's dying. Varian's making a run for it. And, unfortunately, Hindustani... Like, you really need Halb to stop this many elephants. 
you could go for Imp Camel and in combination with a few other things to maybe be okay. But it's just so much chunk. So much chunk. And blue going to be all up in yellow's business. This will at least distract yellow. And Varian has now declared, or, or Tom Tom has declared war on Varian, which I thought was already the case before. But I guess he's just got some ships out here. Okay. Purple research is treason. He didn't get the message from Varian, which is basically like, look, how is killing me going to help you against yellow? It's only, if anything, it's going to be worse for you. And with treason ringing, Varian probably should have some type of an idea that he's going to be sniped. And Varian's going to find it very difficult to survive this, guys. Yellow has held against the champions. Yellow's okay. Varian will die. And Varian says, this is what I get for being nice. And, I mean, he was kind of nice by Varian's standards this game. He was kind of a nice guy. And King's still alive. And maybe a bit of a reputation situation here for Varian. Mm. Blue is now turned on purple, still trying to defend Varian. I, I think Varian can live. If he just chills for a moment and Blue continues to send help, I think he might be able to survive and continue on in this story. He is going to be critically maimed, but I think he can actually live. Meanwhile, we've seen nothing from Gray. Gray's just chilling. He's, he's, he's McMoneying and whatever else. Reg is chilling, making a bunch of Chukunu, maybe thinking about some action. Orange as well, first community game. Still has not allied anyone. Did say uh, that he's friendly to all, but is probably scared because he can't see anything as the whole world is against him. Um, it, it's an interesting one. we have having three players who aren't really fighting. And then, of course, TomTom Tom has the wizardrying and is trying his best to stop certain things from going Varian's way, but he is not actually influencing the game hugely. So, right, he's going to offer some trade up here for yellow. But this is revenge, right? Again, the very, very first thing that happened in, like, once armies came out in the last time they played, Tom Tom just got smashed by Varian, and then Varian killed two more people. The lobby title was anti Tom Tom. The password was anti Tom Tom. The drama started before the game. This whole situation of blue and green fighting together, though, is going to get worse for blue now. Has he chosen the wrong horse? Because Tom Tom is raiding him with horses in the back of his base. And blue's eco is taking some massive hits. And blue is the reason I thought maybe Varian could survive. So, the interesting thing will be, can Varian see the king is there? Because, like, he might be thinking, if he's going to go down, he wants to take Tom Tom with him. Also, Blue's champions are over the TC Foundation, which is probably extremely annoying. What is happening? Why are they walking like that? What? What is this? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Big fights from Blue and Yellow. Khmer are still extremely strong. Yellow is still extremely strong. I think that just the Scorpions in the mix with even just Hussars could be really good. Khmer Scorpion should melt the infantry. Red now is going to turn on Varian, so things get worse for him. And Gray comes in. T McMoney Buns. Up, oh, sorry. T Money McGet Buns is here. And now Varian has to run. There's a whole lot of conic thumping there on that castle. King still survives for Varian. He's got to think about... Not really an exit strategy, but he's got to think about... If he can use that king in some way. He is being properly ganged up on here. Tom Tom's raids are just insane. Just crazy stuff from him. And he's losing a lot of units, but he's really making things worse for blue elsewhere. Now Varian's going to run again. I think Varian is going to try and make a run for wherever he thinks... Uh, Tom Tom is. Gre uh, lots of treason researches here as they're trying to hunt Varian down. Remember Varian's words, guys. I think it's important. He said, How good do you think this is going to be for you, Purple, if you kill me and leave Yellow to, to you know, alive, basically? 
king is in this castle. I think Varian will die here and is right next to blue. I, I love the fact that blue teamed up with Varian. I thought it was an interesting move for the show. I'm not so certain that it's going to be good for him. Maybe Varian's trying to leave so he's not close to his teammate. Oh, 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 oh. Into the TC and out of the TC. Nice plays. Still alive. But now he's just surrounded. Even more. Will there be any mercy for the player who gave no mercy last week in a game which was such a stomp, I deemed it not good enough for YouTube? <laughs> He's holding on like a beast. Can we please get some salutes? How is he alive? How is he still alive? This is crazy, man. I maybe spoke a little bit too soon. Uh, okay, 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 okay. There he goes again. New castles being constructed. Buildings in the way. King is slow. King is fat. King is dead. Varian dies. There will be an explosion. Everyone has to leave. And Varian calls the GG. I thought it was a good game from Varian, honestly. Tom Tom rejoices. He says, the pariah is gone. Peace returns. <laughs> and Yellow says, now it's blue. His best friend. So any anything that Varian loved must die. <laughs> God, Red loses. He pays a heavy price for helping. A heavy price. Blue must pay for allying the foul warlock. And well, Blue has already been paying. And it, it just makes sense, right? Blue is in a very... Blue is a crazy score, actually. Um, He was allied with the player most people were fighting. And so he is likely to be gone. As well as most of the wood on this map, by the way. What's the wood on this map is going to be gone? Tom Tom still gets to tell his story. Varian didn't... I, I like how he called the bluff, though. I, I really got to say, the fact that he called the bluff and just boomed anyways was really smart. Tom Tom didn't have it in him to go boom. You just got to know, with someone like Tom Tom who loves to, you know, to chat, he's not going to want to die 10 minutes into the game. And... Guys, I mean, you just can't... You can't beat four separate people unless you're just in an insane position. It's not going to happen. Blue says, well, I think I'm next. And Orange says, I don't attack anyone. I'm just in my base. I do nothing. Well, this is true, but that's also part of the problem. You do need to help. It seems like he's moving out the scout people. This might be auto-scout, actually. You do need to ally people. Yellow says, orange on water, you are attacking me. Oh, that's true. People's trade are dying to the castle. Because he's still enemy to people. Orange just doesn't know about alliances. And here, Tom Tom's getting attacked by Orange's spears. I don't think Orange knows this. It clearly is a bit new. I think this army is mainly defense. But yes, he is doing damage to people. And oh man. T-Money trying to make a move on blue. The Conics are slightly faster than Kings. Maybe, though, if Blue can make it to another castle, Blue can survive. Wherever Blue dies is obviously a big deal here. And he says, I wanted to be your pal, Tom. But you could never be Tom's pal while being friends with Varian. Uh, hey, hey, Orange realized about allying people. And says, oh... <laughs> And Tom Tom says, I, I cast Speak with Dead. Is he doing that so he could say something to Blue right now? I think he's doing that so he can respond to Blue because Blue is dead. We'll see about that. Anyways, Orange just realizes this. I change chat settings all the time and thought that is the diplomacy setting. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, there's, so there's a separate chat setting and there's a separate diplomacy setting. And Tom Tom speaks with the dead. You allied yourself with the evil warlock. I did warn you. I appreciate your tribute, but Varian... Yeah. I mean, he did... He made it very clear, right? He made it more clear than he needed to that he was not going to stand for anyone being allied with Varian. So I don't think Blue... Like, Blue saying he wanted to be friends with Tom Tom. Well, you can't be friends with, with both. So Tom Tom makes a move now on Orange. 
And we have conversation now from gray and purple. They're starting to talk about yellow. And Papa Silk mentioned this before, that yellow could be a big problem. I mean, a lot of the power players are gone now. Varian's gone. Kuso is gone. So, you know, they, they really, if they don't want purple to just take the win here, I think they do have to make a move. Um, and it's interesting, yes. like right now, Yellow says, where's your head at, right? He wants to have an idea. Because Gray just said he's not planning anything to purple. Gray's trying to decide his moves. Both players kind of getting a feel. Orange says, how about you leave my base? A Tom Tom attacking him. And I think Tom Tom is doing this because he was attacked by Orange. Because of the diplomacy issues. Hmm. Please, yellow, orange, and me. Okay, so Tom Tom wants to ally orange and yellow. Which might be good for yellow. Yellow needs support. Because the others are, are probably plotting against him. And I guess Tom Tom and Orange need to ally each other for this to actually work. Hmm. <laughs> this copy pasta. Guys, we're not big copy pasta people here. But this particular message is actually hilarious. <laughs> what if we have it all wrong here? What if Varian isn't a wretched, twisted shell of a human living under a bridge or a dark cavern? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> what if he was once a normal woodland creature, but was twisted and corrupted under the power of the ancient yes. ring? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You can pasta this one. Pasta it up. It's worth it. The problem is there... <laughs> Wait, when are the mod... Okay, we're gonna let him pasta for a minute. Stand down, mods. We command pasta. Or cast pasta, sorry. Actually, I would love to eat some pasta. Oh my god. Wow, Tom Tom's typing here, guys. Um, orange, please answer, man. There we go. It was a misunderstanding. Boom. Couple million died. That is okay. Okay. Okay, can we stop the pasta? I'm getting very overwhelmed. This is just too much for me. You, if you didn't pasta already... I... I th oh, oh, man. This is... I'm not gonna look at my chat. Um, sorry, orange misunderstanding. They are for yellow perp. Not coming for you. Gray Tarkins are scaring me. Okay, so we... I gotta see what's happening here. Because yellow has just made a deal with orange and teal. Now, I do question whether or not orange is going to, to work very well with Tom Tom. The chat has been an issue. Um, but see, purple says I can allocate 50 paladins to you and keep 30 at home. Then we take orange. Okay, so at least gray and red... They seem to be thinking about going on yellow. I think purple is still terrified of yellow. And let's look at the stockpiles real quick. Yes. 50,000 gold for T-Money? His name is accurate. T-Money McGet Buns is getting buns. 50k? How? I guess it's the trade cogging. Dang. I mean, there is 20k for purple as well. Maybe yellow's position isn't as strong as I thought. Only 5,000 gold. He fought a lot more, but still. Red turns on yellow. Chukunu are an insane unit. And yes. yellow talking to Gray about this. I think Elbanovic would have loved to have been teamed with purple and gray. The fact that these players would probably go against him now is bad. And Papa Silk is ready to make the move. He's telling Gray, I think it's going to be... Dr. Manfred, T-Money McGetBuns, and Papa Silk making some massive plays. Some big attacks here, all against Elbanovic, who, of course, looked so strong. Uh, just passing. Elbanovic says, let's kill Red. He screams it yes. to everyone. And now he says, and Gray. Okay, this gets interesting. Purple has a decision to make. I think he was going to be with those two. And Gray is waltzed right into Yellow's base where Yellow has no defenses. And Yellow's king is running. Hmm. Tom Tom didn't have time to think of something more wizardry to say. So just says, let's get him, boys. 
And King escapes very quickly from Elvinovic. That's great play. To be aware of that. It's sometimes you just like, uh, am I okay? And you're hesitant. A red. Pretty safe. Yellow's just got too many moving parts coming towards him. Poor Orange is just so disconnected from everything that's happening. He's been such a spectator, sadly. Orange says, can someone tell me what the teams are? <laughs> well, Orange, uh, Varyon's the enemy, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Yellow's approach. He just screams, everyone on gray and red. He's just trying to rally up as much hype as he can. And red actually turns on Tom Tom, so I think he might have been expecting that. Purple says we are all on yellow. Now we'll see what happens. Tom Tom says time for a little magic casting, so he's gonna be doing something funky. But yellow's gonna die. Like whether or not he, you know, he loses his king now, I'm not sure. But his main eco is screwed. Also, this is insane. Look at all the army here. So much of it. Also, Blue is in the chat. I, I, he played before. He said he was he's a little salty at the moment, or at least was, that he died in the way he did. Unfortunately, when you've got a wizard casting spells and angry with Varian, you, you chose the wrong horse to ally with, my friend. Tom Tom's king is moving. And he's speaking publicly, which he's kind of screwed up this game. So sorry, Red. Yellow was kind of hungry. And my loyalty lies with whoever killed Varian. Interesting. Okay. And Gray quickly says, that's me, Tom, I think. And Tom Tom says, oh, my bad. It was Gray. Okay. And Yellow says, don't listen to him. Elbanovic is, is doing anything he can to survive. But guys, when he gets desperate... Oh god, his fire ship's coming in. When he gets desperate, he might have to go boom on somebody. Oh! What a save! What a save! If this were me, the villagers would open the gate, though. Ah! Ah! Ah, no! Run away! Oh, it's a... You just... It's a self-trap! It's a self-trap! Oh, no! Oh, shoot! Oh, God! Yellow's dead. Okay. Now, this is kind of interesting because... Orange still doesn't know what's happening, but Orange has just showed up to attack Yellow. The explosion will happen. Elvinovic's out of the game. I think Tom Tom was going to support Yellow and possibly use his king... Nice shot from Papa Silk. Hey, Papa Silk did get the job done here. So, in the end, killing off Varian and then still able to get yellow is a pretty good gig. Orange just starts to attack somebody, and now that person's dead. What is even happening? This whole game has been such chaos. Yeah. I, it's been a very weird game. There's also very few trees here, so... That's something I'm picking up on. Um... Gray and red seem to be very close, though. And Team Money is the favorite. Team Money is absolutely the favorite. If only he knew to put his king somewhere else and not in the freaking town center. Red is enemy to Tom Tom, which Tom Tom doesn't like. Naturally. And, um... Dr. Manfred says, I shall trust you for now. Okay, Here, here's my take on Tom Tom. Oh god, Orange needs to run. Gray is going for his next kill. Love Tom Tom, love his chat. But every wizard gets a little old and, and crazy. Or, you know, maybe took too many potions or, you know. It, it, Tom Tom has been quite erratic. Possibly that behavior was forced because of his experiences with Varian in the previous game. But, uh... I could see why people might not want an erratic wizard to be alive in this game. And so, Grey continues to just steamroll people. Orange declares war on Grey and has to bring the army over. I like how Grey has just been jumping on people before they have time to predict it. Before they have time to think about it, you know? Orange could hop into this castle. He could still be fine. He's bringing army over. He could still be okay here. We'll see how the pathing works out, though. Tom Tom is also here. Purple's also here. And you can full wall this map, and there goes the king for orange. He's going to hop into this castle. 
Unfortunately for Orange, he was never really a massively supportive ally of anyone here. And half the game he was attacking people accidentally. So I think now that a lot of the big players have been killed off, this is just kind of a natural sequence of events. Uh, Tom Tom has his king headed to Red's base right now. And, you know, he, he might just be hiding his king in there. I don't know. But he says, McBuns killed the menace. He did wipe my grimace. <laughs> How long did this one take to think up? That's your menace grimace. Does that really rhyme? Okay, well, let him go. He's got another line for sure. He's thinking of it. I must pop Namfred to a permanent siesta. <laughs> Fireball Fiesta, okay. <laughs> and Tom Tom's dead. And Manfred's trying to he can't click his tower because of the sneaky move he did. He's trying to escape. He deleted his own castle. The king is not there though. And now the king's running. And this is apparently for Grey. Red is very confused, and Red is dead. And Red is not gonna be a very big wizard fan after this. And that is the end for Tom Tom. That is the end for Dr. Manfred. And Dr. Manfred, oddly enough, I felt like he was a very supportive ally of Gray. But did Gray ask for that? Did anyone see that? I don't think Gray put a bounty on him or anything. Um. Anyways. Wait, did something else just die? What just happened there? Huh? No. Okay, Orange is running for his life right now. Orange just stayed alive throughout all this. That's pretty crazy. Red's king died. Oh, yeah, of course. That king died, and there was an explosion. Okay, obviously. Yeah, I'm stupid. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> um, purple is now in a unique position. Actually, like, orange is obviously the target right now. This would be the time for gray and for purple to start lacking trust in one another and start to think about making their move. Look look at this. Right now, Gray's like, purple, Treb here, this castle. He's like, hey, move here, move here, right? I think Gray wants that distraction to happen. I think they might make a move on one another. They are neighbors. And sure, earlier in the game, they were all friendly and, you know, going over and getting a cup of sugar. But now, this should, this should be a lot spicier here. It seems like they're pretty loyal to each other, though. Orange, still trying to survive. And Purple says, Red, can you help me, please? Red responds and says, Eleven, I'm dead. Purple says, OMG, I'm dumb. How did he die? Okay, so he missed that whole thing. But, guys, he's trying to destroy this guy. He's trying to, you know, kill somebody. And, and Orange has been incredibly stubborn. Let's give him credit. It is so easy for, for me to, you know, point out someone's chat mistakes or not realizing someone dies. When you're in the game, guys, and it's this intense, trust me, it is so difficult. And it's, like, so different. Like, the way I present it is so different from the reality of, of when it's in-game, I gotta say. I see Purple's got Trebs here. But still no moves being made, so they're not gonna, they're not gonna jump the gun on it. I think they're gonna be... They're going to wait till Orange is dead. Yellow, very pro-Orange right now. Off in heaven, cheering for Orange. Elephants are insane with the melee, man. And the king will actually survive yet again. Trebs have gone down. King is out, though. Just look for the umbrella. That's the king. Hmm. The longer Orange stays alive... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I think Orange just realized that's the king. Oh, no! The king is moving at the pace of the monk! Oh, the king is dead! The stupid monk slowed down the king. He had a chance there. Nice job, though, guys. They researched treason again to go get that king. And now we are going to see a big 1v1 battle. Of course, Gray and Purple both have lots of army here. Look at Gray immediately double back home. And they immediately turned on each other, and now it goes down. Hmm. Well. 
What's better, Elite Conics or Tootin' Paladins? I think it's pretty close. I'm going to go with the Conic. Uh, but I don't think that there's a massive... I, th I think numbers is kind of key here. Numbers and momentum. And also, of course, resources, which, at least earlier in the game, they both were in great spots. They both have 40k gold. They both have over 50k food. We could see Cav for days. You know, maybe having Tootin' Castles could be helpful here. Maybe, what do you do? Do you go for the snipe or do you go for eco rates? I guess you might, you don't know what the opponent has for resources, so you might just think you can outproduce them. This is insane. Purple has 118 paladins on screen, gray has 80 conics on screen, and is going to drop more crepos to produce more conics. I just feel bad for the horses, honestly. But what a battle. What a crazy, crazy battle here. King just moved. Purple made a run for the king. King just moved into this castle. Purple's king is actually going to relocate further back. This is a pretty epic battle right now. And... Purple continues to send in paladins aiming for the king kill. Again, when you have the resources, I don't hate it. Hmm. Dr. Manfred in my chat says, I still love you, Tom Tom. And Tom Tom is explaining he wanted to give Gray the victory. Apparently, dead people can't talk to each other. I'm pretty sure they can. Varian, he's had the pleasure of being dead for a while, so he, he's been a little lonely. He says, dead people should be able to talk to each other. There should be an afterlife chat. I, I'm pretty certain, though, you can do so, but maybe you can't change Diplo settings after you're dead. So the only person he could talk to is Blue. Or maybe other people have closed the game at this point. Guys, I don't think the wizard is going to get his wish. Papa Silk playing like an absolute maniac. <gasps> Does he see this? I think he spotted it. Papa Silk's playing like an absolute maniac. 160 paladins in a 200 pop game. Just completely out popping his opponent. Now his castle is being attacked by some rams. That's been spotted. Gray's on the move, and this is a 1v1 now. There's no wizardry spells that can save you. There's no explosion assists. This is just an out-and-out -out battle. What Papa Silk should have said to Varian when Varian said, how exactly are you planning on dealing with yellow without me? He should have said something like, I'll manage, because he's playing like a beast right now. Look at any paladins he's sacrificing. That castle will probably stay up, though. And that's just a villager inside there, not the king. I like how Gray sniped the Trebs. These tre the Trebs did a lot to take out his fortifications. The issue for Gray is is he's he needs an area where he can just collect his units. And how is he going to do that? Like, he's producing from all these conics. Uh, or, sorry, uh, Krepos. And it's hard to find an area to chill and mass. So what ends up happening is they're trickling in, you know, a dozen at a time, let's say. And, yeah, it's just a problem. Papa Silk, who didn't even realize two players died earlier, says, Is it bad if I thought those were Tarkins the whole time? Why do they get a thump, though? Why do they get a thump? I feel like we never talk about the fact that Tarkins used to have a thump before the Definitive Edition. I, I don't think I bring that up enough. Yeah, I mean, Tarkins would be amazing at destroying buildings. A bit better than the Conics, but... Uh, who even cares when you can make this many paladins? I mean, they might run out of resources. This is this is interesting. Purple has only 40,000 food and 4,000 gold. Gray has 100,000 food and 20,000 gold. Gray could actually hold on here. I think I think it's actually shifting. I think T Money is holding. He's got 90 conics now. Most of the Krepos, when I click them, and man, does he have a bunch of them. Like, he is really queuing up. Uh, it looks like they all have Conics in queue. Purple had the momentum and was trying to get the King Snipe by taking out the castles. And oh, man, Research Treason again, and is making a move for this Krepos now. I mean, it's kind of hard to chase down Kings with Tootin' Paladins, but you still only need a couple hits, and that's a Krepos. That is not a castle. This Krepos will go down. The king is on the move! The king is on the move! 
tunes. Oh, they're so slow. <laughs> they're so slow. <laughs> well, where's husbandry when you need it? <laughs> um, wait, where is it? Oh, shoot. It's not actually in here. It's in the next one. Purple's done a great job paying attention to that. He's trying to wait till that king hops out and reposition. This is great for purple. He's got mostly surround. Sometimes the unit will hop out beyond the paladins here, though. Big moment. Big moment. Who will win? Where's the king go? Is it trapped? Where is it? I can't see him. Oh, he's right here! How did he squirm through? What, did he oil up before he, before he hopped out of the castle? How did he squeeze through all those bodies? Oh, my God. Okay. Well... I mean, this is why you, having 20 Krepos everywhere is amazing. Nice job from Gray. And Gray still has crazy numbers. And resources. And Papa Silk does not. Papa Silk does not have many more Paladins. He actually calls the GG. He calls the GG. I think that's the end for Purple. Clearly, he doesn't feel like he can do it anymore. He's trying. But I imagine he might have lost a little bit of hope. I think the rally point on his stables is actually set directly on that Krepos. And there goes Purple's King. Purple's King on the run. Um, 130 military for T-Money. It's funny, a lot of his military is actually dismounted Conix at this point. And there goes uh, Papa Silk. And he's headed somewhere. He, he he's clearly doesn't want to be at his own base. He still has not been able to kill... Oh my god, did he just bait Gray away? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, 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 dude. Maybe he thinks the king went up there or something. I don't know what's happening. But he... Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Oh man, Gray just got pulled out of position. I guess he doesn't know the king's still there. That was actually an opportunity. Why are the paladins going up here? He says, why didn't I do that sooner? Anyone know what he's even talking about? <laughs> I have no clue what he's talking about. What, run to Red's base? Where Red is is dead? <laughs> Did we miss something? Oh, kill some of the trade? Well, okay, that makes sense. But what, like, what does he do? I guess he took out the dock. Maybe he took out the dock. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty big. I see. Um, T-Money signals now. He researched trees and to see purples on the other side of the map. I mean, there's still a chance. If purple has that many paladins, there's still a chance. And purple running around for his life says, no, I have a plan. Uh, is the plan to give the kill to Blue? Blue is rather upset about how things ended. I'm not sure if Uh, I guess he doesn't want to drag it out here at this point. He says, yeah, it's over. Want to kill it? Or can I just resign? And of course, Team Muddy wants to kill it. And he's on the way. Uh, Papa says, I didn't delete Red's dock to the very end. Yeah, I think deleting the dock would have been smart, but it's hard to pick up on that. And obviously, that consistent trade income really important for Gray. He could still trade with other docks, though, right? You could probably find something to trade with. Even Purple's is there. Purple's going to give it up. Um, does still have those paladins running around chasing fishing ships in the north. But he doesn't know or feel like it's it's a po real possibility for him. And wow, Gray's Conics are coming for the free king kill. But some men have to die to blue before the kill happens. And Purple is baiting him. Doesn't seem that, that ready for death right now. And now Purple is leaving. I think, is Purple just tricking him right now? Is there a master plan here? Thing is, if you have 40 paladins, you can always kill that king. And I think Purple not baiting him is just going to give up the king and the game ends. Before we get to, you know, the, the storyline, the start, and everything that kind of started this game... An amazing game from Team Money, McGetBuns, and Papa Silk. Both great games. I mean, this... 
what what I do think these players benefited from is there were like one, two, maybe three other players who who dominated more of the story early. That's always huge because uh you, you don't you don't get targeted. But I mean, they had some pretty epic battles, um, and they both contributed to Varian's demise, to Cuso's demise, and Yellow's demise. Not to mention Orange's demise. Gray killed four, five people. He killed Blue. He killed Teal. He killed he killed Orange. Um, he he killed Purple, of course, and then he killed Green. And let's not forget the reason Red died was because Gray ended up getting the snipe on Varian. It, had he not gotten a snipe on Varian, Red might have still existed in this game because Tom Tom was happy to to end his life in order to assist Gray. That obviously is exactly kind of what um, uh, Tom Tom said, but an interesting game. I do want to go back to, because with all my intro evolving around Varian and Tom Tom, I do, I do kind of want to talk about that whole situation, right? Um, I, I see both sides. I see both sides. There is no right or wrong here. I, I really see both sides because Varian absolutely killed off Tom Tom, no mercy, not barely talked to him, just freaking pfft, just destroyed him last week, right? Then, you know, lobby title was um Wizard Obedience School. Password was I cast death or whatever on Tom, right? So there were some fighting words. There's some history. But also at the same time, if Varian, like, Varian was essentially threatened with a massive explosion, right? Tom Tom was pretty vocal, speaking about how Varian is the enemy. And, you know, like, I thought Varian kind of played the situation pretty well, considering. He's like, fine, you want to boom me? Go ahead. I got to add eco, of course. He did that. He found an ally. He did uh, make some small attempts here or there to maybe, you know, move on past some past drama. So, um... Yeah, I, I feel like I kind of see both sides on that. And in the end, I think this is the most important lesson. Look where they both ended up. Look at the score. That's the story, right? The story is not that the wizard won, right? Or that, you know, the, the bully won. The two people that couldn't get along, dating back to, well, you know, last week's game, um... They created some chaos in this game. They had some great fights, but they didn't go very far. So I think what that says is if you could find friendship like Team Money McBuns. <laughs> Wait, Team Money McGet Buns. If you can McGet some allies and McGet some friends, you can McGet yourself some wins, uh, Mr. Team Money McBuns. Um, well played. Um, let's look at the KD here. Yeah, let's go Orange. Orange freaking killing it, man. Orange is Orange. When you rewatch this, you're gonna be kicking yourself because half the game you were enemy to everyone, which which really is kind of the biggest thing for you there. Um, uh, here's the resources collected though. Do you have another game where if you can have lots of trade, that ends up being a very important factor. But um, you only get that with proper allies, and you have to be fighting for your team. You have to be fighting for a cause, which Gray did a very good job with. So. Yeah, Mydra says, I thought chat settings are diplomacy. Yeah, once you said it, it made sense. Seeing as that wasn't the case, kind of created a problem. Because I think TomTom Tom attacked Orange because there was the instance with the spears attacking TomTom's Tom's Vils. And then uh, Yellow's trade was also being attacked by, by Orange's castle at one point. And it's amazing what a little bit of fighting will do, even if it's a mistake, to, uh, to change people's mind. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Um, well played. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope people enjoyed. We'll see what happens with wizardry in the future. Uh, and, uh, whatever else happens.